United and Paul officiating are a very, very notorious combo. Like, are you, are you, are you surprised? No, when it comes to poor officiating, a lot of, of these controversial calls are always made at Old Trafford. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of this conversation this evening, uh, which is like a review of Manchester United uh, solitary win against Wolves, uh, do me a favor by liking the video. Very, very important. Subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, and make sure your notification bells are turned on. Very, very important. So let me repeat for those at the back. Sorry about that. Like the video, subscribe when you subscribe, and make sure your notification bells are turned on. Ah, United Tax. How many times have we seen these kind of controversial calls being made at Old Trafford? How many times will we continue to have this conversation about the state of officiating in English English? It's like the referees want to be part of the conversation. They like the box office rhetoric after every match. They want to be part of the conversation. They don't want to just be solely football. No, the referees want to be part of the conversation. How can you tell me on God's green earth that that clattering from Onana on that wolf striker is not a penalty? How can you tell it's not a penalty? That was blatant, yet wasn't reviewed on VAR, yet the referee that was shitted the match did not deem it worthy of a call. Make it make sense. Watching the game, Wolves dominated my match United at Old Trafford. They were what the right word? They were they were conquered. Wolves actually conquered. Manchester United at Old Trafford, they dominated the game. Now, even the stats did not do justice to the game, unless if you watch the game. I saw the game. I've watched the game. And I know what I'm talking about. Now, if you look at the stats, it makes, the start makes it seem as if it was a close game. Let me take this out of the screen for now. No, it was not a close game. Now, saying Manchester United shaded the possession. If you watch the game, all the great chances were created by Wolves, all the long busting runs were made by Wolves. The midfield was dominated by Wolves. Casemiro today looked his age. Casemiro today looked lost. Casemiro today, now the conversation of, oh, is it better than Pate? Is it better than uh, Rodri? I'm sure, I know it's one game, but come on, we've been saying it. In, in terms of tackling, Casemiro look as sexually pleasing. But with the boy, is he technical enough? Can, can, does he have a pass? No. Wolves dominated the game. Unfortunately, for some reason, the Wolves players didn't have their shooting boots. Or they just like last season, they can just buy a goal. They can't just for some reason. They are so blunt. They can't buy a goal. Yes, Manchester United actually had a better outcome, which is the most important outcome, which is winning. Yes, they won the game. But did they deserve to win the game? I'm sure most Man U Faithfuls who won't be objective will tell you they were fortunate to actually get a victory. They didn't even deserve a draw, in my opinion. If you watch the game, they did not even deserve a draw. But somehow they got a victory against a better team. They'll have been torn to shreds. A team with good strikers, they'll have been torn to shreds. But yet they managed somehow to win the game. And the referees wanted to be part of the of the conversation. Now look at the shots on tag. Sh total shot by Man U 15, three on target. Total shot by Wolves 23, six on target. Those are the tangible. Those are the most important uh, data I wanted to show you. But if you watch the game properly, that's why I always tell people I love statistics, but it's better to watch the game so you can make an objective assessment of what you saw with your eye, provided you're doing it in good faith, because stats can be manipulated. Watching the game, I didn't see how Manchester United actually shared, shared the possession because Wolves were they dominated the game. They had breaks upon breaks, but for some reason, chances upon chances, but they couldn't just put the, the ball into the net. Now, my Manchester United actually took the lead by a move uh, that actually led to a goal by Varane. He had like this was a smash and grab, but until the dying minute, they had a chance to actually nick a draw, but the referee decided. To show their red, let you show their corrupt part because that was a blatant penalty. I, I'm, even you, go check the Manchester United channels who want to be objective. It'll tell you that was a blatant penalty, very blatant. 
But for some reason, like I've been saying it, the biggest league, the richest league in the world, the most attractive league in the world, has some of the poorest officiating referees in the world. For some reason, the English Premiership cannot get their arts together to get quality refereeing officials. They can't. Every season, these referees are just box office. They want to be part of the conversation. They want to be. And yet, they keep on appointing new refereeing head, new changing their rules, but yet, plus the technology that is there to help them, they refuse to do their job appropriately. And for Manchester United fans, you know you, you always get away at Old Trafford with this kind of dodgy decision. We saw it during Alex Ferguson time. We still see it uh, sporadically and periodically more often these days. For some reason, at Old Trafford, the referees, for some reason, be making dodgy uh, officiating decisions and align Manchester United to get away with a lot of things. So, yes, they won the match, 1-0, but did, they, did Man U deserve to win that match? No. Did Man U deserve to get away with that penalty shout? A very credible penalty shout? No, but it is what it is. I am tired of complaining. I'm sure some of you are tired of watching and seeing these referees make a mockery of blatant call. That, that, wasn't, con that wasn't controversial. controversial. Onan actually cl clattered into the striker. That was, a, that, was, that was a stonewall penalty. But for some reason at Old Trafford, the Old Trafford tax was applied. The Old Trafford discount was applied. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think referees will ever in each premiership get better? Because they have the resources, financially, in my opinion, but why do they want to always want to be part of the conversation? Why is it that the referees in England can't get it right? I want to know your thought because I've tried to, uh, to look at it logically, critically, and see why. They have, the, they have the finance, in my opinion, to do it, but why are they refusing to do it? So why do referees continue, continuously make this error? Let me know your thought about it in the comment section. Do not forget to like the video. Very important. Like, let me repeat. I'm being very objective. I know someone will say my opinion uh, may be a blood because I'm an Arsenal fan. No, I'm a football fan before I'm an Arsenal fan. And I can still be logical. I can still tell the truth. And I still call it down the middle. Trust me, I do call it down the middle. So don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Very important. And make sure your notifications are turned on. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Very, very important on the next one. Ciao.